Hi and welcome to a new video. To utilize iMessage or FaceTime, it's essential to activate them on your iPhone. Yet, there might be occasions where you encounter an error stating that the activation process was unsuccessful. In this video, I'll show you the most efficient solution for this issue. Let's go! First, check your internet connection. Since iMessage and FaceTime require a reliable internet connection to activate, make sure you have either Wi-Fi or cellular data enabled on your device. If you're on cellular data, see to it that FaceTime and Messages have access to it. If the iOS version installed on your device is outdated, it can affect your device's features. Aside from that, iOS updates usually include regular bug fixes and security patches. So, it's a good idea to keep your iPhone updated. To check for a new iOS version, open Settings on your iPhone. Navigate to General and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. Also bear in mind, some older iPhone models are not able to install the latest software updates. To check if your device is compatible, click the tag in the upper right corner. Another option is to turn off and on both iMessage and FaceTime to refresh the connection and help restore these services. To do this, open Settings, scroll down to Messages, and toggle off iMessage. Next, go to FaceTime and turn it off as well. Once both configurations are disabled, restart your iPhone. After the restart, activate FaceTime and iMessage again. The following step is to ensure that your date and time settings are configured correctly. To check, open Settings, go to General, and tap on Date and Time. Make sure Set Automatically is activated to adjust your time zone based on your current location. You can also try to sign out of your iMessage account and then sign back in. Go to Settings, and scroll down to Messages and open the Send and Receive menu. Tap your Apple ID and select Sign Out. After a few seconds, tap Use your Apple ID for iMessage and sign into your account again. Lastly, you can try to reset your network settings. This action does not erase any information from your iPhone except your network settings, including Wi-Fi password and Bluetooth configurations. If you reconnect to a Wi-Fi network, you will need to re-enter your Wi-Fi password and pair any Bluetooth devices. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!